When installing the EpicView satellite system on a conventional cab or an open fairing sleeper cab, use the factory foot kit to install the unit on top versus behind the cab on a Skyline sleeper. To do this, use a 5 16 socket and remove the existing six side bolts and take the dome cover off of the satellite dish. Be careful not to lose any of the tiny black washers when removing the bolts. With the cover off, you will notice three sets of factory drilled holes down in the gray base plate. This is where the bolt studs are inserted for the feet to connect to the base of the dome. Use the six lock nuts provided and tighten them all down. When finished tightening down the lock nuts, put the dome cover back on the satellite dish using the six bolts and black washers that were taken out when removing the cover. Be careful not to over tighten these bolts. They only need to be tight enough to barely compress the black washers. With the feed installed, we are ready to mount the EpicView satellite system on top of the cab of the truck. Once we determine the location we want, we then use the quarter inch drill bit and drill one pilot hole in the outer hole on each of the three feet. After we drill the first hole, we put a quarter 20 bolt in that hole so the dish doesn't move when drilling the other holes. Do this after drilling the second hole as well. Remove the two bolts and move the dish aside and then use a 3 8 drill bit and drill out the three pilot holes just drilled. Be careful not to drill too deep so not to punch through the headliner on the inside. Using the impact gun with the riv nut tool, twist a quarter 20 riv nut on the end of it. Add sealant around the riv nut before inserting it into the hole to prevent any potential water damage. Fasten all of the riv nuts using the 3 quarter inch wrench and a riv nut tool. Make sure they are taut so the riv nuts won't spin around when installing the bolts. After all riv nuts are secure, take the dish and fasten it down using the quarter 20 bolts provided in the install kit. Go back over using the impact gun with 7 16 socket, securely locking down all bolts. Adding sealant on the bolts before and after they are secure to prevent any water damage. In reviewing this section, remember the following key components. With a conventional cab or an open fairing sleeper cab, use the factory foot kit to install the unit on top of the cab. Use the three sets of factory drilled holes down in the gray base plate. This is where the bolt studs are inserted for the feet to connect to the base of the dome. Do not over tighten any of the bolts when fastening the cover back on the dish. And use sealant to help prevent water damage on all the bolts. This concludes the foot kit portion of the installation.